This is the Messiah Hour with Ari Lewis. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Messiah Hour here on Israel Sports and News Radio. Thank you for joining us. We have a great, great show today. At any time, you can email the program at messiahhourgmail.com. And you can also send a donation via PayPal to Israel Sports Radio at yahoo.com. Obviously, everybody in the whole world wants to know what is really going on in the land of Israel. Uh, to talk about that and also a very exciting award she received, back to the program, Israel Sports News Radio's foreign correspondent, Jerusalem Jane Keel. Jane, welcome back to the program. Thank you so much. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. So you won a very prestigious award. Obviously, uh, videos made about it, a uh, picture with uh, the great rabbi Yehuda Glick. Tell us a bit about what the award is for. Yes. I am truly honored. I, I was actually approached by Yehuda about three weeks ago, <laughs> and I was not allowed to talk about it. But the whole thing was this this evening was to celebrate life. This evening was to celebrate that he survived and to thank all the people and family who stood with him and his family through this really hard time. So he wanted to celebrate life, that he was alive and say thank you. And at that same occasion, they were handing out uh, awards. It's called Scholars of Zion Awards for people who have um, done an impact, who are trying to speak up for the Jewish people's right to, to be on the Temple Mount. And he just approached me and said, you know what, Jane, we would like to give you this. Uh, it's an honor certificate because of what you have done for the Jewish people and the Temple Mount. Would you like to accept? <laughs> and I was like, are you kidding? It really brought tears to my eyes. So, uh, yeah, so he was handing out these awards that evening. And I was the only person without the Jewish world not being Jewish who received this award. Uh, can I just quickly read what it says? Because sure. it really touched me deeply. It says, Jane Keel, awarded for your work to bring the, the Israel nation back to Zion. For your work as an independent blogger from Denmark to Jerusalem, the city so close to your heart and soul. For coming to us to be our ambassador for the Temple Mount throughout Europe and the U.S. For taking upon yourself the task with great courage and dedication to publish the dishonesty of Islamic extremists about the Temple Mount and throughout the world. For the courage, time after time, to go up to the Temple Mount while Muslims scream and harass and for speaking the truth to the whole world about the Temple Mount. We pray that God bless you and give you more strength to continue your holy work. And all of us together will visit the Holy Temple in Jerusalem, the eternal house of God, Yehuda Glick. And can I guess, this, this, this touches me more than you would even know. I mean, I love this nation. I love the people of, of this country. So for them to, you know, kind of recognize me and to love me and give me this back, it just, it makes me cry. It's just, it's incredible. I mean, Rabbi Huda Glick's truly a, a patriot. This man, people don't realize he was given about a 10% chance to live. Uh, the interview, by the way, yeah. is on YouTube. If you type with me, Rabbi Huda Glick, the Messiah Hour, check it out. He, he was not given a chance to live, and here he is. And uh, how, how was he feeling this point? How did he look? Did he look like he's... Oh, <laughs> you should see that, man. He was dancing all night. He was happy. He was joyful. He had all these men dancing around in circle. There was he, there was a band playing live, and they were dancing and they were rejoicing. I I made some videos about that, and to see him so happy and and humble, he is he is the sweetest man. I have so I have the utmost respect for him. He's so gentle. He's so kind. He has the biggest heart. He loves everybody. So for this to happen to him, it just, I will never forget that night I got that news. You know, I cried all night and I cried and I prayed and I said to God, please don't take him. We need him. We need him. And I think that's how everybody felt when they got the news about him. So he's doing good. He's really doing good. And he, he wrote about a book about the Temple Mount and the history and... And he is continuing the the good fight. Yeah, he certainly is. He kind of, it just is incredible. It, it was, it's almost like it strengthened him. What happened last year? It's really incredible. So uh, you're at this event. Tell us a little bit more about the event and the particulars and the details. Well, it was broadcast. They had a live broadcast on that that event. Uh, it started at five o'clock, and it was just to to you know to celebrate. He invited. It was a first of all, it was a public event. 
um, <clears throat> everybody was invited to come and to just join him and his family. And that's what it said, to, to overcome terror, you know, to show that terror is not going to silence us, terror is not going to keep us down. And I survived, and, and we want to celebrate life, and we, I want to say a thank you. So it was kind of like a huge thank you party where he had got the opportunity to say, you know, I'm having this open house, and everybody who stood with me and my family comes. So... So uh, <clears throat> it was just, you know, good food and people mingling and dancing and singing and a couple of speeches. He spoke, his family, and uh, <clears throat> and then we got these awards. So it was a really, really good time, and uh, everybody enjoyed it. You saw the videos and the, the pictures. The thing that really touches me the most in this award, if I can just say so, Ari, is the line where it says, Jane, for coming to us to be our ambassador which kind of means you, you took me in, right? I mean, that, that really brought tears to my eyes that now you're, you know, I'm coming to you to be your ambassador because that is what I am about. That is why I'm here. That is to stand in the gap for Israel. That is to love you. That is to speak up for you to all these atrocities also that we are seeing happening right now, all the horrible attacks. So so for you, for you and when I say you, I mean, you know, the Jewish world to, to give this to me is just deeply, deeply moving. Again, this is the Messiah Hour here on Israel Sports and News Radio. My guest is Jerusalem Jane Keel. Uh, we're talking about the prestigious award she won regarding the Temple Institute. Now, I understand, you know, that's the positive story, obviously. Some negative things. I understand you've been receiving a lot of death threats. Uh, I mean, I just not that it's such a positive thing, obviously, but I want people to know what's going on about how vicious the enemies of Israel are, so please tell us about it. Yeah, well, when you stand for Israel, um, you have enemies. I mean, that's just the way it is. And uh, I have had my fair share. Let me just say for a minute, I'm really trying to down downplay all of this because I think these Muslims like to just intimidate and threat and say a lot of words. Um, I'm not. I don't think that you know when I walk down Ben Yehuda, someone is going to come up and try to do something to me. That's not what we are talking about. But I am receiving threats, and uh, and I just. I got one in uh, in Arab and I didn't read that, so I just I Google translated and, and you know it speaks about that I'm an enemy of, of the science state and uh, that uh, they will try and track me and trace me, and when they find me they uh, they will kill me, so they encourage me and my family to leave, <clears throat> excuse me, before I'm being killed, and uh, something about they have prepared this uprising that we are seeing now and. Uh, because I'm an enemy of Palestine, you know, they want to take me out. All kinds of things, just comments on some of my videos, you know, saying go back to Denmark before you're being killed. So I think they do a lot of talking, but the thing is, we saw with Yehuda, you know, that it just takes one stupid person to... So I'm just being careful. I have people saying, Jane, you need to be careful and just once in a while look over your shoulders. But the matter of the fact, Ari, is that you know me, we are good friends. You know I was looking for housing only three months ago. I found a nice apartment and now I have to move again because I, I talked to a police officer and I'm living on the ground floor. Everybody can just walk up to my house right now and that's a no-go now. So because of all of this, just to be on the safe side, um, I'm actually looking for housing now, you know, more safe within a building, with an elevator. People can just go up to, to, to where I live. So this has a consequence to stand with Israel. And especially because this is everything we are seeing now is regarding the Temple Mount. 